What is going on Java Minecraft players that play Java Minecraft with Zaleth Launcher? Have you ever had this error code pop up, which it says application game exited with negative code one, and you try to install maybe the latest version of Minecraft Java edition, and that code just is never ending popping up when you click on launch game? If you said yes, then I have the solution for you. But before I give you this solution, you need to subscribe to the channel and you might want to go check out the other video, which I also already kind of gave you the how to of for this, but I thought I would show you another video because it seems like the biggest flaw in Zaleth Launcher is this one issue, which is subscribing to the channel and also paying attention to the channel because I give away Java Minecraft codes so that you can play Java Minecraft online with your friends. Very randomly, I'll put a code in a video, I'll put like maybe one part of a code in a video, and then you have to watch the next video, get the second part, and then the watch the next one to get the third part. Since there's five parts, that's like five different videos you might have to watch. Or I might even comment in the posts. Yeah, now with all the yapping out of the way, because it seems like a lot of YouTubers say that people yap too much. I've seen a lot of slop on there too that I don't understand why people follow people. But anyways, the first thing you're gonna take note of is that 1.2, 1.10, 1.2, or above basically, or 1.2, 1.11 need a certain renderer, okay? Java Minecraft for Zaleth Launcher requires you to download specific renderers, and I know some people might think that's confusing, especially if you came here from Pojav Launcher or something. Pojav Launcher already had this stuff kind of built in for you. And you go to your video settings and you click this download button. You click confirm, it's going to bring you to a website, okay? And this website's going to give you options like mobile glues and LTW. Don't download LTW because the LTW that's up here is outdated and it's not better or anything at all for the latest version as of today. Now this mobile glues is the latest version as of right now and I don't know if we're gonna get a new version or anything like that anytime soon, but I think the developer is working on something. Click on open, click on download and install the APK file, click on open again and pay attention to this step right here. You need to click on modify render settings, click okay. Click on new folder, click MG or type in MG, Mary George. Click OK, click on Use This Folder, click Allow. You do not really need to touch anything in here. I'm going to tell you right now though, there is this setting right here, which is use angle as the OpenGLES driver. A lot of devices that have graphical glitches in newer versions or even graphical glitches in general might benefit, which is a lot of Mali GPU devices by the way, from enabling this. Otherwise, if you have a Snapdragon device, I just disable it. The other incomplete extensions that I end up turning on are these two right here. These are experimental and sometimes they don't really do anything. I always just turn them on because if they don't do anything, then it just overrides that and doesn't do much of anything. Your cache, you don't really need to touch this, okay? Just leave it at the default. I turn it on to like 128. I know people are gonna be like, oh, you turn it on to 128, why, are you, why don't I do that? It's up to you. Some people put it up to like one gig of cache. It depends on how much storage your device has too. Okay, now that that's done and out of the way, close out of everything and then go back into Zaleth Launcher and go back into your settings. Go in here, go to mobile glues, and then set up everything else. I have a setup guide on the channel that teaches you how to set up Zaleth Launcher properly with everything you need to know like including changing your video settings, understanding why you wanna change your resolution scale maybe a little bit so you get a little bit more performance on most devices. Also setting up things like your controls and your game settings with your, you know, your memory allocation and stuff like that. This device I can do up to like 60, 56 if I want to. It's not really necessary, but because I have 10 gigs of free memory, I could do 6,000 gigabytes. I might be able to even do more. I'm gonna try that out actually. But anyways, go home, click on launch game, and then this even has a notification that even says the selected render of mobile glues from plugin may have settings. If Zaleth Launcher lacks storage access, click on confirm. So check that off, which is great. Go back into Zaleth Launcher again and click launch game. This will work. I promise you that it works. It works for anything above 1.25 or 21.5 and up until at least 1.21 and 11, which is the latest version as of today. This is a short little video because again, I've already shared something similar to this in the past. I just thought I would show you why that crash is happening, happening and now it's not. Make sure to check out my mod pack, OptiMobile. 
this mod pack has helped with a lot of people with boosting performance obviously if you change your render distance and stuff like that that'll help as well but now let's jump in enjoy some minecraft java edition on our phone because it's an awesome time to be alive in 2025 with being able to play java minecraft on your phone yes i know my phone is a beast of a phone this is the red magic 10 pro have a nice day guys enjoy hope that was helpful don't forget to share this with other people that need to figure out how to set up java minecraft on their phone or share my setup guide video because this one's really just a video about how to fix that error again it's the second time i've done this